Hi, my name is Julie and welcome to today's lesson, Physical to Virtual Recovery. Today, we'll show you how easy it is to perform a recovery of a physical server to a Hyper-V guest machine. There are three obvious advantages to being able to recover to a virtual machine. One, reduced costs because you don't need to buy another server. Two, increased efficiency because any surplus capacity within existing servers are being fully utilised. 3. Increased availability, because it may not be convenient or even possible to purchase new hardware at certain times in certain locations. To demonstrate how we performed this operation, we need the following. 1. An image backup that is bare metal recovery ready. If you are unsure, please watch our video, Are Your Image Backups BMR Ready? Available at the following link. Furthermore, if you're using a USB drive as the backup location, you'll need to share this on the network. 2. Recover Assist Boot Media, which can be created using the Recover tab in Backup Assist. For more information about the Recover tab and Recover Assist, see our white paper available from the following link. Furthermore, the boot media you create can't be USB-based due to limitations of USB pass-through with Hyper-V. So, let's begin. Create a new Hyper-V guest machine. Go to Start, Hyper-V Manager. Once Hyper-V Manager console opens, click New, Virtual Machine. Click Next. Now you'll need to specify the amount of memory you want to allocate to this new virtual machine and you'll also need to configure the network adapter. Unfortunately, these settings will vary from system to system, so we can't offer any rules or recommendations in this regard. For this example, however, we'll allocate approximately 4 GB of memory. Click Next and for connections, we'll select our local area connection and click Next. Make sure that the size of your virtual hard disk or VHD file is as large as the physical size of the disk on the server the backup was taken on. In our example, the disk was 300 gigabytes. So we'll play it safe and create a 350 gigabyte VHD. Click Next. Install an operating system from Boot CD DVD ROM. Next. Finish. Boot into Recover Assist. Next, you'll need to connect to your guest machine and boot your guest machine using the Recover Assist boot media. In this instance, we're using a Recover Assist boot DVD, which we'll insert in the E drive. Within the Hyper V Manager, Right-click on the virtual machine you've just created and select Connect. Click on the Start icon, Recover Assist will boot. Once you're in Recover Assist, you'll see various options. Since we're using a USB device to hold our backup, We'll select Recover from a Backup located on a network share. Remember, we've already shared the USB drive on the network prior to performing this recovery. Next, you'll be asked to specify the IP address of your guest machine. We'll let DHCP do this automatically for us. Next, enter the network share, username, and password to access your backup. Click Next and Recover Assist will search for image backups. Once the backups are found, click Finish. You'll then be asked which backup you wish to recover from. We'll use the latest available backup. Next, if the VHD isn't empty, then you'll need to confirm you wish to format and replace everything with the layout and data of your image backup. Since we're using a new VHD, this checkbox is disabled, so we'll just click Next to continue. Finally, click Finish to begin the recovery of your system. You'll receive another warning stating the drive will be formatted during the recovery process. Click Yes to proceed. 
Once your recovery is complete, the system should reboot, then boot directly into Windows. You now have your system virtualized. So it's that simple. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on physical to virtual recovery. Bye for now.